again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Inside the UBA. I'm Paul Crane. We're here in Pune, India, inside Balawadi Stadium, where the United Basketball Alliance began its season two. And it's here where the UBA put Indian basketball on live television for the first time ever. Bounce to the net. Deepak bangs into him. The basket. Oh. Count the basket. Shoot oh. down. The UBA taking this game and putting it on live has elevated the status of basketball in India tenfold. Move through to the outlet to Nikhil. Who oh, throws it down? That one counts. How about Nikhil showing his ups on the break? The very initiative of UBA to telecast these matches live has really made wonders among the Indian basketball scene. As you know, that cricket is quite popular in India. But basketball has been certainly making quite a lot of inroads, especially with the, it being telecast on television. What it's done is, is made basketball credible. By being live on television, there's something about being live on TV that says you're for real. You matter. You exist. We feel that we've reached out to some of the top production people in the U.S. So the millions and millions of eyes that are afforded the opportunity to watch UBA basketball on TV will be able to watch it with professionals that have done it for years. And with the Telestrator and different things, we can also teach the game through production that they've never had the opportunity before to see. Let's roll the video down to eight seconds on the shot clock. So here's six seconds of offense, and I want you to see where the white bodies go. Basically, nowhere. You had two players right here that switched positions, one exchange here and one exchange there. But look, everybody else is almost on the same spot on the floor. You've got to move. The defense is going to stand there. If you stand, the defense stands. Now it's been like a dream come true. So we have good opportunity to represent UBA Basketball Alliance, and it's, it means so much for the whole basketball players in India. It's a great stage what players are getting in India, which they never imagined that they would get, no matter how good they are. Because I have an experience of 30 years of Indian basketball. I have seen something different. UBI has given a great platform to you. We, we people never had it. When we first arrived to see basketball in India, there was no traction. Games were being played outdoors, simultaneously on back-to-back -back outdoor courts. So the first obstacle to overcome for us was convincing people we needed to play inside. When we first went to televise the quarterfinals on of the National College Championship Tournament in Chennai, it was January of 2015. They had no game notes, no stats, no information of any kind regarding the teams and the players. So I had to gather all the information I would use myself. It was the round of 16 of the National Championship Tournament. So I went out to two of the games that were going on simultaneously on back-to-back -back outdoor courts. And there was no one in the stands other than those playing the games, refereeing the games, coaching the games, or keeping score on the sideline. There were only two of God's creatures that showed up to watch the games. There was me and an ox sitting in the dirt outside a chain fence. At halftime, I went down to get information on players that I watched in the first half, and then I went around to the second game to watch the second half of that one. The ox stayed where he was. That's the way basketball was followed in India when we first showed up. The UBA has taken indoor stadiums, which had previously been used for other sports, and transformed them into beautiful basketball arenas. These basketball makeovers have created possibilities for the sport which had not existed before. TV affords us the biggest opportunity. Of course, India is a very large population and not everybody gets to go see a game live, but everyone would have the opportunity to see a game on television. Tommy Fisher has combined his personal passion for sports with the resources of Fisher Industries to begin building this unprecedented opportunity from scratch. Now, I, I've been producing TV, sports TV in the United States for 35 years. 
pretty much I know what I'm going to get when I get a crew for a sports event when I show up in the U.S. First day I'm getting together with the crew. We have an all Indian crew. There's me and two other Americans. First day I get the crew together and I ask them, how many people can understand me? And two out of 42 raise their hand. So, okay, well that's probably not very good. Um, so I had an interpreter and I said, well, how many of you have ever shot a basketball game before? Not one hand went up. <clears throat> Nobody had ever shot a basketball game before. So the first thing we had to do was teach the guys basketball. The second step was the communication level. From where we started with no fans and no indoor games to where we are now, it's been a dramatic change. I, I would take this crew we have now in India and, and put them, plunk them down in any basketball game in the United States and feel like we were going to give them a quality product. I would not hesitate to put them on an ESPN or a Fox game, not in the slightest. And that is truly just the beginning. When we come back, how the UBA is creating an entirely new entertainment experience while also improving a worldwide game in a country poised to become a player on the world stage. Culturally, India is just an amazing place to get involved in anything. I think once the crowd get behind a sport or anything in particular, I think it just takes off. The UBA is creating a complete sports entertainment package for a country which has proven it loves entertainment. In the movie industry, Bollywood has surpassed Hollywood in number of tickets sold. But the sports entertainment industry, when compared to what exists in the United States, remains virtually untapped in India. I believe in my heart that the UBA and the game of basketball can bring so much more to the country of India that they have no idea what's in store for it. One of the things we notice when we're in India is that there's an absolute craving for entertainment. And that's exactly what the UBA can bring. When a family comes to one of the games, they have a fantastic time. They absolutely love the experience. To my knowledge, that doesn't exist in India the way it does in the United States. And the UBA can bring this to several cities and television, and it'll provide more than opportunity for athletes and coaches, but opportunities for families to be entertained in a way that they rarely, if ever, have had before. When we're in India and we're at our basketball games that are being produced live, we see some not only amazing things that happen on the floor, but we also talk to a lot of people. From Bollywood stars that tell us that this is some of the best stuff they've ever seen. And I'm very, very happy that we can be part of such a well-organized event. You must support the UBA, you must support basketball. So I'm just loving it, UBA Basketball League Season 2, your buddy! To different uh, business owners and even politicians come in just to kind of see what we're doing. So seeing this game here in Lyra, I was, I never believed till I got an invitation of the Maya to be here. It's a wonderful, really game. Electrifying atmosphere and beautiful to watch that UBA league has come at this stage. They all absolutely love it. And this is wide open. It's fertile ground. So we are from the government, we are for the sports. So we'll see to it that the players continue playing for the UBA. Yeah. Watching the game on television, uh, we have reached uh, quite a lot of people and the viewership has also increased because I've been getting quite a few people who have been calling me up and they are very impressed and happy to see that so many players are getting a chance to play and now they are eager to play. There is no question that the play from season two versus season one, in my humble opinion, is probably a 30% increase. And if we can get another 30% increase from season two to season three, and possibly when the time is right to really bring in even more international players, you will see a huge transition in Indian basketball, at least at the UBA level, really excelling. In the months and years ahead, as we continue to develop seasons here at the UBA, 
there's going to be a lot of different things that people get to experience. Not just from the gameplay on TV or in the arenas, but you're going to watch the players get better. You're going to watch the fans engage more in the game. We have eight teams across different cities and different states all over India. My, my favorite thing to see about the future of what that can be is as the citizens of each city and state get behind their players and their team, there's nothing greater here in America and possibly different parts of the world, whether you follow your soccer team or you follow your football team or your basketball team, is to get behind those young individuals to cheer them on. And, and ultimately, it will build rivalries. Coming out of last season, we heard some great stories of people getting together in cities and putting on these watch parties where hundreds of people would get into a room where the game is being televised live and they would cheer for their team. Uh, it's a great platform uh, for all the young and experienced players. I mean, like me, I mean, I'm not young anymore, but comparatively, yeah, I mean, experience does count. So we didn't have such a platform during our time when we were playing currently for the international team and for the Indian team. But I'm sure this kind of platform is going to make basketball a crazy sport in India. To my knowledge, these players have never had the opportunity to compete in a league like the UBA. Everything for basketball has been tournaments. Like we get a couple of tournaments in a year, that's it. And UBA gives us a lot of experience and we get the special treatment from UBA which all players deserve. There has never been a situation like the playoffs or a playoff series to move on. It's always been pool play, tournament play. That's all they've known until now. I love the playoff format of the U.S. In our playoff system, if you did have one bad night, you still got to win twice. And winning twice truly proves you're the best team. But then the concept of playoffs is really going to be uh, taken in the right stride. Players will have ample opportunities. And uh, this is a good concept and uh, players will definitely stand to benefit out of it. Players are getting to know actually and the crowd is getting to know what basketball actually is, how it is to be played. I was again fortunate enough to go to the NBA Hall of Fame in induction and to actually sit there and see how many hundreds of thousands of people's jobs basically are based on the game of basketball. The same thing could happen in India, no different. People don't realize how many people it takes to put on a basketball game or any other sporting event. How many camera people, how many grips, how many audio, video, everything that goes into a basketball game. On our crew, we have roughly nine Americans and about 40 Indians right now. So that's for to do one game. Now, if we start multiplying that out as the UBA grows, and, and becomes more and more like the NBA over a five to ten year period and games start happening in different cities every night, you're not, not looking just looking at tens of jobs, you're looking at hundreds of jobs, thousands of jobs being created in an industry right now where there's nothing. As, as UBA grows, we grow. And then there's a new sport for all the Indian kids back at home. In every culture or every country, People are, still have to wake up every morning, figure out how to put food on the table, how to support their family. But basketball gives them another sense of um, entertainment or possible entitlement to be great at something and actually earn a living, which we can offer. Up next, the players who now have a first of its kind opportunity. And for India, what could become the opportunity of a lifetime. Wow, I'm getting dressed along with them. <laughs>
I think the most important thing would be exposing the boys of India to a higher level of competition than they've probably been re recently been able to um, achieve. They can really come up competing with each other and really good professionalism is happening here. So it's going to be the biggest thing for the Indian basketball players. The, the best way to increase the, the vision how to elevate the game in um, India is affording the players of India an opportunity to play more than just a certain time of the year. Now I'm feeling like put my basketball shoes on, go play up for one of the teams and, you know, play my all out there. So what is it going to take for us to get you there? Nothing. I'm very much available for the UBA. So UBA had, you know, come at a right right moment where, you know, the players were very eager, very anxious because basketball was a left out game and UBA is bringing up that, you know, texture in between to help the players and combine everyone and then, you know, bring in the results. So I think uh, this, is, this is the moment that we had been waiting all these years. So, you know, I'm very happy the way they've done things. And again, I'm telling you, UBA has done a great job here. Both Prasanna and Sheba have trained with college coaches in the United States and understand many of the areas where basketball has been lacking in India. The UBA is poised to make a dramatic difference with American coaches, led by Director of Coaching Jody Basie and his staff, who have held player camps, tryouts, and run practice sessions for all eight teams. So I think UBA can give them that platform because uh, when I speak to the coaches, they speak what is there in my mind, which I, you know, for years I had been alone over here trying to teach the girls because I've been trained in US as well. So I, you know, bring something back from US and I try to put it in the heads over here in the players. There are two coaches, very great coaches. They're very nice to the older people. They're very, they, you know, the, the amount of time they taking to teach each every kid something great. So they really want each and everyone how to move, how to defend, how to guard, how do the minus points come, everything. And the one thing that we have that I see is there's heart and there's effort and these players of India want to become better. They listen when the coaches talk to them. They want to become better basketball players. And so we're starting at something that's pure that hopefully we can make great. One of the many ways the UBA is working to make things great is by rewarding a select number of Indian players with the opportunity to take part in the league's annual pro training camps in the United States. In the first camp in November of 2015, nine players were brought to Phoenix, Arizona for two weeks of training. Coming to USA, that changed everything. Even our family had some expectations from us. It's amazing. We have a platform and then we'll do it, for sure. We make a huge change and put our whole effort in. We get them after they've been on the court two times during the day. They play two games today. Um, they're wore down and beat up when we get them, but they're able to pick themselves up and go after it every day with us. My speed's increased and uh, I feel stronger in upper body. Now I can push people on. I couldn't before, but now I can. This first UBA Pro Training Camp provided the players who made the journey several challenges, including going against former Super Bowl MVP Kurt Warner and friends at Warner's home gym. I'm always going to compete. Uh, that's kind of one of the reasons we wanted to do it, is just kind of get them in here and, and run them around a little bit and compete so they can kind of can see you know what that level's like you know even though it's just in a practice setting like this. The camp also provided competition against former NBA and D-League players. Box them out! You're turning your back to somebody's guy! Hustle back! We got lucky he didn't take the layup guys, no help side defense! They get up and down, they jump, they can run, they can play. I don't know if you saw the block. <laughs> yeah, he, he, was, he, was, he was clear above the rim, like he's above the, the square when he blocked it. How do you feel about that block? Yeah, that's all fun. <laughs> Holy s <laughs> I think we helped him in, in a big way, just showing them, you know, guys who play D1 and have some pro experience, uh, we give them you know, just a little bit to see how it is, a little taste of what's, what's out there. 
basketball doesn't come easy for our professionals here in the U.S., and it's not going to come easy for the professionals in India. They got to work at it, and they got to be afforded the opportunity to continue to do that. Basketball is, is one language. It's, it's, it's global. It's definitely global, and, and, it, and it's, it's good all around. They're pretty good. They, they, they have some talent that can be worthwhile. Well, I think as the awareness is seen on TV and the boys and young men are able to see like inside the UBA that was presented on TV that there's an actual opportunity to come to the U.S., it's drawn better competition already out of India and, and every day there's better competition that calls the UBA and wants to continue to compete. I feel really very happy to play basketball in the UBA league. We can see ourselves as going, going as professionals in basketball and it's a great feeling. We are looking forward to it that they'll continue the league in future and it will, it will keep going better and bigger and stronger. I've got a chance and the opportunity to play like with the best coaches from the US, like to train with them and to play with them for a couple of times in the camp. And then uh, playing with these guys in the UP also is like something new for me because like I played in you know, different leagues, not, not, not UBA. So like being here for the very first time, I think it's something that's really given me a push in my basketball career in the game. It changed my life so that I could uh, make my uh, decisions in uh, reality is like uh, simple for me when I, you know, play in this league. And the ability to change lives is only just beginning. We're back with more in a moment. has tapped into something very real and very promising. It is also very early in what stands to become an amazing journey. From our staff, as well as the players, as well as the people we work in India, as well as all the different agencies we've met in India, everyone wants to win and wants to get better. And if we all focus that way, I think sky's the limit for the UBA and Indian basketball. I don't think Indian basketball will look back only go up. That's what I feel. And I really believe in the future, if we do the things that are right and we're doing it for the right reasons, we have no choice but to have success. UB is going to be a really huge, humongous. People are really hoping that one day they would also be a part of it so that uh, they also become one of the stars in the Indian basketball scene. When you see that and feel that and capture that emotion on TV, you, you learn to love something, you know, and in the UBA, once you experience it, once you've seen that and felt it and touched it, there's no way you cannot love it. So what I'd like to say in conclusion to the kids out there is probably five different things that you should focus on. One, never give up on your dream. Two, always continue to work hard. Three, respect your competition or the person making you better. Four, continue to drive to be the best. And five, as we say in basketball, shoot for the stars and accept nothing less.